Oh, hey, this is Meredith, and I'm back with another Premier Elements tutorial today, another installment uh, of Adobe's Exploring Elements series. I'm going to show you how to do the freeze frame guided edit today in this Premier Elements tutorial. So this is going to be a fun little video editing tutorial. It's really neat. Um, it's a really quick way to kind of add a little punch to your videos when you're editing in Premier Elements uh, 2018. So um, let me know that you're here. Just wave hi or say hello or something in the comments. Uh, make sure that you can hear me and see me and um, it helps me to know that you guys are here watching me. So let me know in the comments. And um, also um, to start things off, let me introduce myself. My name is Meredith Marsh. And I'm the blogger and YouTuber behind VidProMom, where I help people create and capture relivable moments um, so that they can be shared with friends and family and future generations. So I do a lot of video editing tutorials and gear reviews and that, that kind of thing. All right. Hi, Robert. Awesome. Robert's here. So... Um, we're going to talk about Premiere Elements uh, today. Um, I also should tell you I'm an Adobe partner. So they asked me to come here and kind of take over the Photoshop Elements page uh, with this Exploring Elements live stream. I did one a couple weeks ago on the um, Guided Edit for, what was it? Oh, for the bounce back effect. So you can make a really cool um, kind of looping um, thing with your videos. It's it's a really fun one. So you can scroll back through when you're done watching this one if you want to catch that tutorial. Um, but today we're going to talk about the making a freeze frame with a motion title. Um, so, uh, and again, we're using Premiere Elements 2018. And I want to show you actually what it looks like. So I'm going to share my desktop with you in just a second. Um, all right. So here's my desktop. I want to show you what we are talking about with a freeze frame motion title. So these are just a couple of samples that I came up with. Um, so you can see basically the video clip is moving and then it kind of pauses and then a motion title comes in and you can have that title say whatever you want and you can choose where you want it to come in. So there's one there. So that's just a little sample of what we are going to be doing. And um, I'm going to open up Premiere Elements here in just a moment. I need to open up my notes again. Um, so this is a guided edit. So that means within Premiere Elements, let me just share Premiere Elements with you. If it's here, is it here? Where did my Premiere Elements go? All right, let's try it this way. All right, there we go. So Inside of Premiere Elements 2018, um, you have a quick view timeline and an expert view timeline. And then right in the middle here, you have this guided timeline. Um, and what this does, if I click it, is Premiere Elements will basically walk you through how to make edits. And um, not, just, not just basic edits, although it does kind of walk you through that here, but they also have some really fun things that you can do, um, like the bounce back effect that I covered in the last live stream. And today we're going to do the freeze frame one. So you can't mess this up <laughs> if you're brand new to editing videos and you want to do some kind of fancy stuff. You can't mess it up with these guided edits because you are actually editing your own clips as you go, as it shows you exactly what to do um, with each step. So. I'm going to get started here. Um, I'm under the guided edits, right? And so this is the main screen for the guided edits. And then I'm going to come over here to fun edits and down here to create a freeze frame with a motion title. So you can see up on the top left hand side, it tells us exactly what to do. First thing we need to do is add some media to our project. So um, I have that little arrow there telling me, so I'm just going to click that. And I'm going to go to my files and folders. I have some things on my desktop. Let's do, uh, we'll do this fishing one. So I'm going to import that. So now that's in my project assets, a uh, little drop down folder here. And it's telling me here, here's my little window where it's giving me my instructions. It's telling me that um, I need to drag it down to the timeline. So I'm just going to take it 
and literally just drag it down to the timeline. Now, this is a really short clip, so it's hard to see. So I want to actually zoom in on it just a little bit so that you guys can actually see what is going on here. So um, we have our little box here that tells us learn how to freeze the moment and add a fun motion title. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to hit the next button and it tells us to move the current time indicator or the CTI to the place where you want the motion title to begin. So the current time indicator is sort of just a fancy way of saying this red line, sometimes called a scrubber bar, um, that you can move along your footage here um, as you're kind of moving, moving along and viewing it and previewing it in the window. So, um, you basically just take it up here along the, um, time bar up here and find a spot that you want to kind of pause and have that motion title come in. So maybe, I don't know, like maybe right here, it's really good to do this when they're like in the middle of some, some sort of fun action, right? So, um, obviously my daughter's fishing, so she's casting. And so um, I'm going to pause it right there and have the title come in right here. This would also be a really great thing to do as like a title for your video, like an opening for your video, for a fun video, like a family vacation, you know, highlight reel or a hobby video or something like that. So um, I've put my time indicator right where I want it. So I'm going to hit the next button. And then it tells me to open the titles and text panel. So I'm going to do that. So that's over here on the right hand side. There's a bunch of uh, title templates to choose from. So um, the, this main one here is okay. This one is one that I used here in an example in the sample that I showed you. So you're basically just going to take this template and drag it down kind of um, over top of your actual clip that's on your timeline. And it's going to automatically just separate your clip right where you put your time indicator bar, um, just like it told you to do. So that's why it's important to make a decision where you want this title to go with your time indicator bar. So the next thing is you need to um, see where this uh, like aqua green colored arrow is. It's pointing to this, uh, to the what's happening in the preview window. So basically what it wants you to do is select this, uh, the background of what's of this title so that you can tell it that you want a different background, <laughs> right? Cause you want a freeze frame as your background. So we're going to, we select that, uh, that frame there and then come over here to background image and come down to freeze frame. And just as an example, just to show you how you can't mess this up, it doesn't even let you choose anything else um, in the guided edit. So there's really no risk <laughs> in, in making these cool edits because it's you're not gonna mess it up. It tells you exactly what to do. So I'm gonna choose freeze frame here. And basically what it did, let me move this out of the way. Basically what it did is it made the background of my motion title, um, what was where, <laughs> this is a weird language thing. It makes the background of the motion title what was happening in the clip where I had the time indicator bar, where it split, okay? Um, so it does that. And then it tells us to, um, yeah, we did that. It tells us, let me move this. I always have to move this around so that you can see what's going on. Um, it tells us to type the desired text into the default text box and then add styles and animations if you wish. Um, and it says to customize other text la layers, select the corresponding text from the monitor window. So let me show you what this is saying. So um, we obviously want to customize this a little bit. So um, it, it tells us with our green arrow that this is where we need to type. So I'm going to call this fishing fun. Okay. And then to change out this one here, all I have to do is click it and then change it out. So we can say, um, this was summer 2017. Okay. And then we're, you can also change the, um, like I could make this bold if I wanted to, you can kind of see the difference there. I can change the font. I can change the size if I want to. I'm not going to mess with the size or the font because I don't want to 
I don't want it to kind of get in the way of what's going on here with the design of the title. Uh, so I'm going to hit next and we're done. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can get this to play for you. Might be a little bit choppy. Actually, it might be easier if I just do this. So we start off our clip. She's going to cast and then she gets the pull up there, cast, and then it kind of pauses right there. But then we have this motion title that comes in and it stays for a little bit and then it will um, kind of animate out. Let me see if I can show you the animation out. Kind of animates back out and then it just starts playing the regular clip again, right? So um, let me show you again, actually, the um, the sample. Let me see. Where is my desktop? Here we are. So let me show you again what this looks like once it's rendered. So it stops there. This is a different title example that I used. And then it goes away. And then there's this one, Fishing Fun at Camp, I put on this one. So next, I want to just show you this again, but with a different clip. We'll use this, <laughs> this clip here as an example, just to see it all um, again. So let me get my Premiere Elements back open for you. There we are, but then I'm in a different spot. Um, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. Um, oh my gosh, you guys probably couldn't even see my thing. All right, so let's do another guided edit. All right, so I'm just going to come over here. I'm going to leave my stuff here on the timeline and come over again to Guided Edit and down here to create a freeze frame with a motion title. It's going to walk us through this whole process here. So um, it tells us to move our time indicator where we want um, where we want that title to come in. But I actually, I'm going to hit, okay, let me add another media here. So I'm going to do um, Lake Placid. Here we go. So I'm going to import another clip here, drag this down here to the timeline, get rid of that. So we have this Lake Placid clip and my daughter, my youngest daughter really loves using the camera like she's a vlogger. So I want to get to a point here where she's kind of holding the camera up. So if I can get my time indicator to catch up with my preview window or the other way around, um, that would be great. So under guided, we're just going to go create a freeze frame with a motion title. And it's going to start us off here by saying, all right, we need to move this time indicator bar. There's That's a good spot, actually. Or there's one. I know there was one little spot at the end with my other daughter here. Let's use this one. So this would be a kind of, kind of a good little opening sort of scene here. We're going to hit next and we're going to go to our um, titles and text. And then I'm going to move myself again. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of myself. There we go. I keep getting, getting in the way. <laughs> um, all right. So we picked our spot here using the CTI. We opened up our titles and text panel. And I'm going to choose another, uh, let's see, we're going to choose another template type. Let's, well, I'll just do this one. This is similar to the one that I had in my sample. Okay, so we've added our, um, our motion title here. This one has three different text boxes. So, um, First thing we want to do though is select that background so that we can come over here to background image and then freeze frame. Okay, so we're going to hit next and this is where we can change out the text. So this, the first one is selected here. So we can just put whatever we want here. So we can say Lake, oh, let's make it all caps, Lake Placid, New York. Okay, and then to select the next one down, we just select it over here in the preview window. And we can say, um, well, I don't know what we can say vacation. Who, who goes to Lake Placid in February? I mean, come on, only 
Only hardcore New Yorkers would do that. So, and then we can put a date. So this was actually February 2017. And there we go. So I can actually, it's a little light, so we could make it a little bit bold. We could change the sizing if we wanted. Make it a little bit smaller. That's, that's, that's not too bad. All right, and then we're just going to hit next. And it tells us that we're done. Now, if you get lost or something during these guided edits, you can actually go back different, you know, go back to the previous steps um, or move forward again. Um, so I'm just going to hit that green check button. And here, so we have, um, here we are. Here's my daughter's got the camera. She tries to film her sister. She doesn't like that. <laughs> and then, so it kind of, um, motions, you know, animates in and then animates back out again. So that is, that is it. Then you're done. All you have to do is keep editing and create a really fun to watch video um, as you go. But that's a really great way to kind of start a video off instead of just having a regular title, um, like a, you know, just like a plain Jane title. Um, it's kind of a fun way to grab the viewer's interest um, when you first start off your video. So um I do have a Premiere Elements cheat sheet for you. If you, um, if you go to vidpromom.com slash elements cheat sheet, um, there's an actual cheat sheet. I'll put it in the, I'll put it in the comments here. Um, there's a cheat sheet there. Um, it kind of tells you how to get started with Premiere Elements, how to export your video when you're done. Um, and there's a couple of other little uh, little video editing tidbits there, um, for you as well. So, um, I want to remind you to make sure that you follow the Photoshop elements page and subscribe to get notifications when the page goes live so that you don't miss future tutorials, uh, <laughs> like this one. And, um, once again, my name is Meredith Marsh. You can catch up with me at vidpromom.com. And it's been really great to show you how this freeze frame effect works in Premiere Elements. If you have any questions, um, I don't see any questions in the chat box um, now, but if you do have any questions, feel free to drop them in there and I'll come back and catch up with you and try and answer them the best that I can. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.